experts and specialists lead you quickly into chaos. They are a source of useless nitpicking, the ferocious quibble over a comma. A beginning is the time for taking the most delicate care that the balances are correct. When you think to take determination of your fate into your own hands, that is the moment you can be crushed. Be cautious. If enough of us believe, a new thing can be made to exist. Belief structure creates a filter through which chaos is sifted into order. Every civilization depends upon the quality of the individuals it produces. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I will permit it to pass over me and through me. And when it has gone past, I will turn the inner eye to see its path. Where the fear has gone there will be nothing. Only I will remain. One of the best things to come out of the home computer revolution could be the general and widespread understanding of how severely limited logic really is. Greatness is a transitory experience. It is never consistent. It depends in part upon the myth-making imagination of humankind. The person who experiences greatness must have a feeling for the myth he is in. He must reflect what is projected upon him. All governments suffer a recurring problem. Power attracts pathological personalities. It is not that power corrupts, but that it is magnetic to the corruptible. There is probably no more terrible enlightenment than the one in which you discover your father is a man with human flesh. Empires do not suffer emptiness of purpose at the time of their creation. It is when they have become established that aims are lost and replaced by vague ritual. Power tends to isolate those who hold too much of it. Eventually, they lose touch with reality and fall. The convoluted wording of legalisms grew up around the necessity to hide from ourselves the violence we do to each other. Love is a very ancient force, which served its purpose in its day but no longer is essential for the survival of the species. Memory never recaptures reality. Memory reconstructs. All reconstructions change the original, becoming external frames of reference that inevitably fall short. Prophecy and prescience how can they be put to the test in the face of unanswered questions? Consider how much is actual prediction and how much is the prophet shaping the future to fit the prophecy? What are the harmonics inherent in the act of prophecy? Does the prophet see the future or does he see a line of weakness a fault or cleavage that he may shatter with words or decisions as a diamond cutter shatters his gem with a blow of the knife? The hearts of all men dwell in the same wilderness. What do you despise? By this are you truly known. The night is a tunnel, a hole into tomorrow. 